about weight resistance training is that it really is the best way to ultimate physical fitness. It doesn't matter what your goals are. If you're a woman and you want to reduce inches around your thighs, or flatten your stomach, or even increase a little bit on your bust line. Or if you're a man and want to get stronger, more muscular, you can do it all with weight resistance training. Now the important thing is that before you do any weight training at all, you always do some warming up and stretching exercises. Let's get started. Every warm up program starts with deep breathing. Inhale with your arms over the head, exhale when your arms come down. Now make sure to keep those knees bent and the buttocks tucked under. Next we have our neck rolls. One. Now we keep that same posture, and the purpose of this exercise is to stretch the neck and the head. And reverse. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now these stretches work our sides and the back. Keep your knees bent to protect your lower back. And keep that stomach tight. One. Straighten out our legs and get ready for those hamstring stretch exercises. This and the next exercise will help you to keep those hamstrings flexible. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This windmill exercise works the waist. Four. Bring your chest, not the head, slowly to your leg. Four. And then repeat it on the other side. Three. And then try to gain momentum. Concentrate on that waist and burn it off. Two, three, four. One. Side to side lunges with your legs far apart. Work the inner thigh. Make sure to touch with the elbows the opposite knee. One, two, three. Now continue the same movement and concentrate on the thighs. Four. One, two, three. Now make those thighs really burn. Four. One. stretches one of the shoulders and the back and it really gets the cardiovascular system going remember to breathe three four the next exercise combines a deep knee lunge with a leg extension stretch now keep that back foot flat on the ground the front foot flexed so you get the ultimate stretch. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the final body part will the warm up of the calves. Keep your legs straight and come all the way up on those toes. Now put your legs together and stretch those calves. Single time and then double time. Now really feel the stretch in those calves. Now slowly walk your hands up to your feet and hold on to your ankles and give yourself that last hamstring stretch. Now bend your knees and come up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, and the head is last. Inhale one more time and exhale. Now we are ready for some weight training. Okay, first we do a pressing exercise for our shoulders. Okay, Rachel, you are next. Okay, remember now, press it all the way to the top. Try to lean a little bit forward, so you get more direct. Good. Let it all the way down. Press it all the way up. Good. And exhale on the way up. Excellent. Very good. And inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Now concentrate on your shoulders when you do it. It's very important that you always concentrate exactly on the muscle that you're working on. Here is an alternative to the shoulder press. The press behind the neck with the barbell. Thank you. 
This is in case you don't have access to a machine. One of the great advantages of a training partner is that they make sure you're doing the exercise properly and they motivate you. Again, all the way down to the back, okay? Okay, slowly down, up. Slowly down, stretch your shoulders when you come down and up again. It's a very effective front deltoid exercise. And exhale on the way up. Good. Try to keep your ribcage out, your waist in, and always try to be straight. Very good. Make sure you always keep breathing. Good, one more. Come on, one more, don't cheat. Good. Now this is another advantage of a training partner. When your partner does nine repetitions and you want him to do ten, bust him on it. Don't let him get away with it. Have him do ten repetitions. Very important. The bench press. The most basic chest exercise for the upper, middle and lower pectoral muscle. Now with all of these exercises, we do three sets of 10 repetitions. Make sure that the weight you use, you can use comfortably for those 10 reps. Nice smooth movement. Three. Four. Go faster, come on. Good. Six, seven, and think about your chest muscles. Nine, ten. Very good. Yeah, give me two more. All right, you need it. All right. Good. This is the same chest exercise, only done with a machine. Don't do both, just do one or the other. Concentrate on the back of the muscle, okay? And exhale on the way out. Very good. Good. Now the advantage of this exercise is that you don't have to balance the weight. You just keep pressing straight up. Good. Very good. You can concentrate much more on the back of muscles. Good. Very good. Two more. One more. Good. You got it. Now the lap pull down is the best preparation exercise for those chin-ups that are coming up in an advanced program. Okay. Now the important thing is again that you go all the way down and you come all the way up. And now stretch. Think about stretching your back. Now the movement to the top is a stretching exercise and on the way down it is a flexing exercise. All the way up. Now this exercise is the best exercise for developing the total back area, the latissimus and the center back. Okay, all the way down and up. And exhale on the way down. Very good. Should I keep my back straight? The back always straight. And when you pull it down, you lean with the head forward. Good, you got it. Barbell curls develops and strengthens the bicep. Now you women don't have to be afraid of this exercise. I guarantee you, you will not get arms like mine. We try to keep the elbows by the waist. It's very important to always keep the elbows by the waist. Never lift the elbows up. Just let your arms work. Very good. And exhale on the way up, Rachel. Exhale. Very good. And inhale on the way down. Exhale. Okay, give me two more, come on. And in, exhale. In, exhale. Very good. Now, immediately after biceps, we work the back of the arm by doing triceps extensions behind the neck. Now, this is a great exercise, especially for women. This exercise will firm the back of the arm, which is the first place where women develop this flabbiness. Try to keep your elbows together. Come all the way down, even further. Come all the way down to your neck. Very good. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. 
five. All the way down. Six, don't cheat. Okay, seven. One more, come on. Good. I'll do one more. Yes. <laughs> Try to do one more. Okay. You got it. <sighs> Very good. Wrist curl with the barbell. Now this exercise involves only a little movement with the wrist, but the end result is a strong forearm. Very good. Move back a little bit further with the whole year. Very good. Good. Now down and up. Down and up. Look at your forearms. Look at them developing. Yeah, nice and slow. Good. And down again. And up again. And exhale on the way up. Always exhale in your strength. Good. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Give me 10 repetitions all together. Five more, come on. Yes, three more. One more. Come on, you can do it, Rachel. Good, very good. That's a great way to balance out the whole arm, isn't it? Yeah, it's important that you don't just develop the upper arm and strengthen the upper arm. You have to also do the same for the forearm. The infamous squat. No exercise develops the legs better than the full squat. Make sure to really make those thighs burn. Really concentrate on the thighs. Okay. Yes, very good. You always have to go below parallel. A little bit lower, very good. And then the way down, inhale. To really expand your ribcage and exhale. A little bit faster now, like a piston movement, up and down, and think on your thighs again now. Now this is one of the most important exercises for women that want to have shapely, sexy legs. But make sure not to train with too heavy of a weight. Use a light weight that you can handle at least 20 times. Good. Leg curls. Another effective exercise for the back of the leg, the leg bicep. A very good exercise for women for flattening and firming the back of the legs. Try to come all the way up. Okay, very good. And all the way down slowly and back up again. Okay. The down motion slower, the up motion faster. Very good. And exhale on the way up and inhale on the way down. And leave your body down. It is extremely important that you leave the buttocks down because it should only work the back of the legs, leg biceps, and not the buttocks. Keep the buttocks down. Very good. Good. And again, concentrate on your leg biceps. Good. Leg extensions. A great exercise to strengthen and develop the front part of the thigh. This is an alternative exercise to the squat for those people who have knee injuries and can't do squats. Okay, Rachel, you're next. Now, for women who want to reduce their thighs, it is important to do light weights with a higher amount of repetitions. All the way up and hold it a second and then let it come down. And the way up again, exhale. Good. And then inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Good. And think about your thigh muscles. Watch them when they work. And concentrate on your thigh muscles. This feels great. Very good. Now it is very important that we do full movement. All the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Very important so we get the full muscle development. Okay, all the way up again and down again. Good. Very good. Standing calf raises on a machine. Now most people only develop the upper part of their legs and totally forget about their calves. But to have well proportioned legs, you need good calf development. Okay, your turn. Okay. Try to stay totally straight. Very good. All the way up and down. Up and down. Now exhale again on the way up. Think about your calves. Really concentrate on calves. Now, come all the way down and up again and flex and down again to the floor. 
up again in flex. The down position is the stretching position, the up position is the flexing position. Okay, keep going, nice and slow. Go down as low as you can. Very good. And two more, come on. One. And two. Everybody's old friend, the sit-up. But still one of the best exercises for the stomach. Your next Roger. Okay, bent knees. Good. And let's go. Okay, put your hands around the thigh area. Good, very good. But you don't help with the hand, okay? Okay. You just hold it there. And exhale. And flex your abdominals when you come up. Really tense them. Really tense them. Good. And exhale. And think about the slim waist you're gonna get, okay? Come on, let's go. Energy. This is an exercise we can do really fast and make it grow. Very good. Good. Two more. One. Two. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Our next exercise. Leg raises with bent knees. Now this exercise will give you that nice, flat, firm and sexy stomach that you all want. Very good. And you never touch the bench with the toes, okay, or with the heels. Always up. Good. Okay, and exhale. And away. Very good. And also think about the waist, okay? We are burning off inches now. Good. It's the best exercise for the lower abdominal area. Very good. Two more. One more. Perfect. Hey. Come on. <laughs> because women have some special problem areas with their legs and hips. We're going to do some additional exercises now for those problem areas. One. Now the next two exercises will get rid of those subtle backs that so many women get. Six. Stay up on your elbow and don't slouch over. Feel that burn on the outer thigh. Make sure when you do this exercise to point the toes to the floor. And don't bounce with your leg up and down. Just do it nice and slow. Nine. Ten. And now we have three exercises that will develop that firm, round, shaky buttocks. Four.
three times a week, we try to do it in 45 minutes each time. After one month, go on to the advanced program. Good luck. I know that everybody has time to go to the gym all the time. I have the same problem. So here I have designed some exercises that you can do anywhere. From push-ups which trains the chest, to squats which develop the legs. This program will develop the total body. The only difference here is that we are doing 25 to 30 repetitions since we are not using any weights. Go from one exercise to the other without any rest at all. Do the whole routine three times. A horsing should not take any longer than 15 minutes. Now if you want, you can use other weightless exercises from other parts of the program to work specifically on weak points that you have. Exhale on the way up. Come on. Give me five more. Four more. Good. Three more. Two more. Very good. Good. Perfect. Okay, now we train the chest. Bench press with the barbell. If you want to have a bigger and better bust line, the next four exercises will do the job. Very good. Beautiful. And flex it. 
with leg press over squats. Okay, give me five more. Come on, really burn them. Two, three, four, five. Good, Rachel. Very good. Okay, let's do the leg extensions. Come on. Now remember from the beginner's program, we go all the way up and all the way down. So we develop the thigh from the beginning to the end. Okay, come on. A little bit more energy now. Good. Very good. The best that we have for the thighs. Just keep going. Really think about burning this extra fat. Very good. Keep burning. Okay. You give me three more. Come on. Two more. And keep the upper body steady. One more. Beautiful. Very good. And leg curls. We turn right around. Almost with no rest at all here. Okay. Good. One. Again, like in a beginner's program, all the way down and all the way up. Try to even come further up. Very good. Good. And really flex the leg bicep, okay? Again, this is a good chance here to burn off some extra cellulite. All right. Burn off that fat. A little bit more energy. Come on. Yes. Remember, this is the advanced program now. Okay, give me three more. And keep the hip down. Two more. Very good. And one more and hold it up there, hold it really flexibly and slowly go back down. Very good. Very good. Okay, lunges for the quadriceps and for the leg bicep. Now in the beginning you can start up with around 20 or 30 pounds until you get your balance right. Now if you want to increase your thighs, you can increase the weight. 
Okay. Try to make big steps, okay? Big steps. One. Two. And just look at one particular thing, okay? So you don't lose balance. Three, very good. Your chest out, always when you go down with your chest out. Good, perfect. The rear leg lift is one of the best and most effective exercises to firm up your buttocks. Now remember, we are now in an advanced program and we cut our rest periods way down. Go from one exercise directly to the next. Now this is one of the few exercises where the amount of weight isn't important at all. You have to just do high repetition. It's a buttocks exercise, okay? So really think about the buttocks. And we're trying to burn off fat, excess fat that we maybe sometimes have in the buttocks, okay? So really think about it. Lift it up as high as you can. Good. Very good. Good. Nice and smooth. Good. Keep going. Give me two more. One more. And hold it up there. Good. And now slowly let it down. You feel it here? Yeah. Very good. Okay, now we did sideways for the outer thigh. Okay, very good. Two, three, okay. Standing calf raises. Now this exercise really will help you to develop and shape those calves. Okay, your turn. Remember, we go for 10 repetitions, okay? Okay. And all the way down and all the way up. Perfect. Good. Keep your body steady. The only thing that moves is the heel. Up and down. Okay, come on. Perfect, and up. Beautiful, give me four more, come on. One, two, good. Three, and make them burn. Four, good. Seated calf raises, especially good for the outer calf. That really feels good, it's a very effective exercise. Here, all the way down, like in a standing calf raise exercise, and all the way up, down and up, down and up. Now this is the most important exercise for beautiful legs, for women. Down, up, and concentrate here on the outside calf, okay? Because it's a special exercise for the outside calf. And up, come on, give me two more. A little bit more energy, come on, now, last calf exercise. One more, very good. Okay, we start our abdominal training with some regular sit-ups. It's the most basic exercise, but it still works the best. thing is that you just hold your hands there and not help. It's much better having your hands there than behind the neck because otherwise you will, you know, create more stress for and strain for the abdominals and that makes it then grow. So people get a big stomach when they have their hands behind the neck. We try to get a lot of repetitions. Come on. Give me five more. Good. And one more. And really squeeze it. Good. Perfect. One is leg races. Now the reason why we do our leg races and sit-ups with bent knees is to protect the lower back from injuries. Try to come in with 
Keep your knees as far as you can to the chest. Good. Keep your knees bent. Good. Perfect. And really squeeze the abdominals. Good. Does it make any difference if the feet are pointed? Yeah, it, it looks nicer when they're pointed. What about the But the abdominals wouldn't know the difference, no. Okay, just keep going. Just squeeze the abdominals. We go for repetitions here. Good. And really think about burning this fat up in front here. Good. Very good. Okay, now. Rest on your elbows now and continue doing the same movement. One, two, try to get as close to the chest as possible with the knees. Yes, five, six, seven, eight, and fake abdominals. Come on, nine, ten, good. One, two, three, four. These five. more exercises will finish off the Monday Thursday routine. Eight. Try to do this program within one hour. with your training right now. Shoulders, good. Come on, give me three more. Two more. One more. Good. After the seated presses, we do lateral raises for our shoulders. Okay, let's go. More energy, more energy. Remember, this is the advanced program. No, no, we don't do knee bends at all. We keep our legs straight. Just the shoulders work. Come on. Five more. One, two, three, 
four, five, perfect. Triceps pushdowns on a machine. A great exercise to firm the back of the arms. Four extensions. Again, good. And exhale on the way down. Perfect. Okay, now a little faster, come on. Five, six, seven, keep the elbows in, eight, very good. Nine, ten, you did it. Good, you feel it back there? Sure do. Great exercise to throw off the extra fat and to make it tight. Triceps kickbacks with a dumbbell. Now remember, only the tricep works now, okay? And only the forearm moves. Good. It's just the tricep that makes the dumbbell look better. Good. Okay, and really concentrate, because this is the area where women really get soft, especially in the age over 30, okay? To so really train that, make it firm. Good. Okay, five more. All the way up. Four more, come on. Good. Always stay in a nice bendable position. Beautiful. These are dumbbell curls. Now make sure when you come up here, really flex the biceps and then let it down again and come up and flex it. Don't ever go into just this. Okay, this is what most people do. They train for 10 years and have no response and nothing grows. Okay, so always nice and slow and flex the biceps and come down and up and flex it. Okay? Four extensions. Perfect. Perfect. And remember always to keep the elbows right into the waist. Very good. And down again. Four extensions. Perfect. The chest out. And flex when you come to the top. Perfect. Good. Give me seven more. Good. And concentrate on your arms. It's the only bicep exercise women ever need. Because women don't want to get big muscles on their biceps, right? That's right. Okay, so we only do a firming up exercise. Two more. Come on. Yes. Oh, nice shape. Perfect. Now this is a great exercise for the forearms, the reverse curl. You can do this exercise with a regular bar or with an easy curl bar. The results are the same. Okay, now you actually you use this bar. Okay. Keep your, keep your elbows in. Good. And just the forearm moves up and down. And concentrate on those forearm muscles right here. Those are the muscles that lift the weight up right now, okay? Good. And exhale on the way up. Very good. Okay. Hold it with the finger. Good. Tight grip. Really tight grip. Give me two more. One. Two. And all the way down. That's enough. Good. Double. Wrist curls with the barbell. Great exercise to strengthen your forearms. Especially good for those people who do racket sports. Good, now remember to lock those elbows in between your knees. Okay, good. So it stays stationary. And only the wrist moves, only the hands move. Very good. All the way down and up. And when you come up, flex and think about those forearm muscles, okay? Really strengthen them and exhale. Very good. Exhale. And look at them. Look at them the way they move. So you really concentrate on those muscles you're training. Good. Give me again 10 repetitions all together. Four more. Three more. Good. Two more. Let it really burn. Very good. Deadlifts with the barbell is one of the most basic exercises to strengthen your lower back and your thighs. Try the heavy weight. 
Yes, that's the perfect stand. Okay, and you can bend your knees here. Yes, very good. Two, three, perfect. Good arch. Make sure not to bend forward too much. Good. You always go down with your hip. Very good. Good, five more. Very good. Think about your lower back. This is the best exercise to strengthen your lower back. Very good. And each time when you come up, the chest out. Good. Two more. Very good. You did it. Seated, twist with the broomstick. Although this exercise is a very simple one, it still is the best to reduce inches of your waist. because this is the area we want to develop. Very good. Give me two more. Come on. A lot of more energy. And one more. Very good. Good. You see the difference from the beginning to the advanced program? I feel it, huh? This is the next exercise. One of my favorite back exercises is bend over rowing with a barbell. Closer together your feet. Closer together, even closer together the feet. Very good. Good. Into your chest, at uh, your stomach. Okay, go to your stomach. Good. And make sure to always keep your legs bent so there's not that much strain on the lower back. 
Good. Pull it into your stomach. Come on, more energy. Yes. Yeah, six, seven, eight. And think about your back. Nine, ten. Good. Seated cable rowing is really good for the center back, and it also gives you that great V-shaped look. the stomach, okay? One, two, and stretch your little fingers all the way to the front and in there. Okay, more energy, come, four, five, and exhale when you go back, six, seven, come on, the best back exercise, nine, one more, ten, good. Okay, now we let the weight all the way down, just kind of like in a beginning program, and up again, down, up. Think about the chest, the more energy now, good. Let it down, up, good. And exhale, good. Give me three more reps, two, one more. Good, perfect. For building big upper back draw muscles, do incline press with the barbell. Okay, Roger. Right grip, come on, lean back, good, all the way out to the collar, good, very good, now let it slow it down, slow it down, good, and up again, let it right down to the upper chest, not to the lower part, not to the neck, right here, very good, and up again, nice and slow, up again, and concentrate on the upper back to muscle, okay, give me six more, come on, Five more, four more, three, and watch the bar, two more, keep watching the bar, going up and down, one more, very good, dumbbell flies for the outer pectoral muscles, now remember this is the advanced program, we take shorter breaks, we use more weights, and we put much more energy behind this training, now remember now, let the weights come out as far as you can, okay? Nice circular motion. Not with straight arms, a little bit bent arms, okay? And inhale, and exhale. And think also that you're expanding the ribcage from this exercise. It's not just a pectoral exercise, it's a ribcage expansion exercise. Okay, come on, energy now. Four, come on. Five, yes, again, six. Good, and flex the pectoral muscles when you come up. Flex them when you come up. Good. And flex them. Two more. Nine. Come on, one more. Ten. Perfect. Always flex when you finish an exercise. When you finish bench press or flies, you just flex your pectoral muscles really hard to let the blood rush into the area. Or after you do a curl, you flex your biceps after it's really hard to let the blood rush in. Do the same with the thighs or with the calves. So keep flexing. Come on, Roger. Good, hold it. Yeah, you see the blood rushing in? Yeah. Right turn to right. Very good. Just a few seconds, not that much. Good. Down and up. Okay, remember now, much more energy in advanced program. Down and up. Down and up. And really make those legs burn, Roger. Really make those legs burn. Think legs, come on. Up and down. Keep your back straight. And breathe out on the way up. Very good. Never go for low barrel up. You don't want to hurt your knees or anything like that. Good. Give me three more. Two more. Come on. One more. Very good. Leg extensions are a very specific exercise for the thighs. Four. Remember, squats we have done already now, this is a definition exercise. All the way up. Exhale again on the way up. Good. Three more. Come on. Two more. One more. Okay, and immediately do leg curls. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, and keep it behind down. Two. Three. Four. Okay, and come all the way to the front. Very good. And stretch it. Okay, give me three more. Come on. One. Two. And concentrate on your leg triceps. Three. Very good. 
best exercise to finish off a thigh routine because it works the quadriceps and the leg bicep. steps forward okay big steps one bigger much bigger good as you can see it is very good to have a training partner to spot you and also to motivate you chest out keep the chest out when you go down good and look at the mark when you go forward look at the mark so you never lose balance very good good and stretch the leg bicep stretch the quadriceps the front thigh good a lot of breathing, more energy, good, give me four more on each side, come on, one, one, come on, two, keep the back leg always straight, back leg straight, good, very good, one more on each side, come on, energy, think about the thighs, make them grow, make them burn, make them burn to grow, good, last one, good, Stiff-legged deadlifts are specifically to make the leg biceps grow and stretch. Okay, Roger. Stiff-legged deadlifts. Okay, a little bit narrower together. Very good, yes. And make sure to keep your legs straight, okay? Okay, narrow grip. Narrow grip. Good. Now let's go. Up. And when you do that exercise, concentrate on really pulling the leg bicep. Really pulling. Keep your arms straight. Just lift with the leg biceps in the back. Okay, nice up. All the way. And pull through when you go get up. Yeah, really lift your chest up. Very good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And let it pull back there. Let it really pull. Good. Give me four more. Three more. Come on. Two more, and pull the leg bicep. One more. Very good. Now you can stay there, hold on to your ankles, and do right of a stretching exercise. Really pull your leg bicep. You feel it? In a beginning program or in an advanced program, you can use the, the double overhand grip. But when it gets to the heavier weights, let's say three or 400 pounds, that's when you should turn one hand around and use the over-under grip. Buttocks in, totally straight. Okay. Keep everything straight. The only thing that works is the calves, okay? Come on. All the way up, all the way down. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Okay, keep the buttocks in. Okay, very good. All the way down. Don't bend your knees. Keep it totally locked and down. Keep it totally straight, your legs, and up. Down and up. And flex your calves when you go up. And let them really feel them. And all the way down. All the way down, stretch them down. Very good. Don't bend your knees. Straight, good. Two more, come on. One. Two. Very good. The important thing is that you do calves as many times as you do biceps or your shoulders or your chest. Because the calves respond easy. Just as easy as the chest and the bicep does. But you have to train it as hard as the rest of the body, okay? And always full movement. Seated calf raises is a continuation of our calf program. It works specifically for the outside of the calf. Make them burn, come on. Five more, come on. 
Come on, go. Now we go to the four steps. Come on. One. Give me two more. Two. One more. Three. God. Good. We did it. The great thing about it is that it is a stretching exercise at the same time. But still, after each set, always step here and stretch down all the way to the heel to the floor. And then the other calf. Okay, stretch down. And then you go on to the next set. Now, in an advanced abdominal program, we do higher repetitions. Not anymore, there's 10 reps. We go to 25. Let's do it. Okay. I'm full of energy, okay? Just remember now we're burning fat, high repetitions, concentrate your abdominals. Okay, tighten them up, make them firm. Make those abdominals firm. Good. Very good. Exhale on the way up. Very good. Don't help with the hands. Good. Very good. Now you can keep your hands in the thighs. Good. Don't help. Very good. Good. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. Now we do immediately after that, we do the leg raises. Now the reason why we do our stomach exercises with bent knees is to prevent injury to the lower back. from one exercise to the other. You can start with 10 repetitions each exercise, but then increase up to 30 reps. Straight 
arms straight, the arms straight, down to bend, good. Now keep the dumbbells straight. Okay, very good. Think the, think about the side levels. Five shoulders, come on. Good. Give me three more. Energy, come on. Two more. Come on. One more. Good. And keep the dumbbells straight. Very good. Bend the lateral raises are the best exercise for the real deltoids. your wrist straight. Don't turn it this way and don't turn it this way. That would be wrong. Keep it always straight so we really hit the side of the deltoid muscle and the rear of the deltoid muscle. Let's go, Roger. And lift it to the front. Hit my hands right up here. Very good. Okay, those are the muscles we're developing right now, the rear deltoid. Okay, keep thinking about the rear deltoid. Yes, yeah, perfect. Don't come back. Just keep it in the front. Very good. Don't turn your wrist. Okay, give me two more, Roger. Okay, one, and energy. Come on, the last one. Now in an advanced arm program, we do it a little bit more difficult. We do supersets. That means that we do biceps and triceps right after the bicep. Okay, let's do it. These dumbbell curls can also be done standing. results are going to be the same. Okay, and immediately do the tricep exercise. These are tricep extensions on a pull-down machine. Okay, your turn, Roger. Of energy. Let's go all the way down to the thighs and all the way up. You don't lift the elbow. No lifting of elbows. Come on. Only the bicep goes. No form. Good. Up. And flex your bicep when you come up. Flex it. Yes. Think biceps. Good. Very good. Don't lift the elbow. Good. Keep the elbow into the waist. Good. And exhale on the way up. Very good. And let it down to the thighs. Good. And so right away to the triceps. No resting at all. Good. Perfect. Three. Come on. Four. Five. Beautiful. 
beautiful the way you do that. Six, seven, perfect. Eight, nine. Very important to keep the elbows at the waist. Ten, good. And the concentration curl is the best exercise to get that high bicep. Make sure not to lift the weight over your head, but press it towards the back of your head, so you keep continuous tension on the tricep. And your turn, Roger. of each one of the exercises in an advanced program. Except the abs. There we do 25 reps of each exercise. Yes, squeeze together with your knees so the forearms are locked in. Good. Very good. And really concentrate on that forearm. That gives us that strength so we can hold on to the bar when we do chin ups or curls or heavy deadlifts. We get a strong grip from this exercise. Keep going. Okay, two more. One more. Good. We finish off our forearm program with a reverse curl. Same as with the curl, we keep the elbows in the waist and only move the form. Good. Let the bicep and the forearms move. Okay, very the best exercise for the upper forearm part here, okay? So concentrate on this part. Good. And squeeze it when you come up. Yes. And slow it down and squeeze it. And roll your wrist when you come up. Perfect. Roll it down and up again. And give me two more. Come on. And one more. They're like the abdominals, we train them every day. Okay, it's your turn. Yeah. And remember now to keep the upper body totally straight, okay? Up and down. Okay, your buttocks in. Totally straight. Keep everything straight. The only thing that works is the calves, okay? Come on. All the way up, all the way down. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Down, up. On the way up, we exhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Don't move with your hip at all. Just straight up and down. You feel it, huh? Yeah, certainly do. Very good.
Now we go to the four steps. Come on. One. Give me two more. Two. One more. Three. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay, let's train the waist. First, we have leg tucks across the bench. And this is a great exercise to get those rippling abdominals and take inches off your waist. to strengthen that lower back and it reduces all the fat in that area. Good. Nice and slow. Two. Three. And concentrate on the lower back. Four. twists with a broomstick. You should do lots of these because they really help you burn off fat around the waist. Okay, Roger. And remember, although we have done some stretching exercises already, we ease into the exercise nice and slow. We stretch the sides. Okay. Now a little faster, come on. Very good. Good, a little faster, gain momentum. Now the waist is getting warm. Keep going. Good. Look straight forward when you do it. Good. Twist as much as you can. To really get the sides is the best exercise to burn off the sides. Think about how many cheesecakes you're burning off now and how many beers. Okay. Good. Concentrate on the waist. Keep your stomach in. Good. Give me five more on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Now the bend over position is another way of reducing fat around those obliques. Slowly again get into it. Good. Stretch the sides. Very good. Three or four slow ones. Then we get a little faster. We're warming up. Get a little bit more momentum. And now we put a little energy in. And we're thinking again about burning off calories, burning off the fat around the waist. Can keep going. Faster. Very good. Good. And keep your head up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Try to keep your hips stationary, okay? Good. Only the upper body twists. Very good. Beautiful. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, you did. Now, by doing the alternate leg raises this way, you will not only develop the lower abs, but also the upper area of the abdominals. Never touch the floor. Good. And cross your fingers behind your head. Good. Touch them. Good. Each time, this is your checklist. Always touch the knees. Good. Three more. Come on. One, two, three. Good. And you can also do it slow. Try it slow. One. And two. And hold it. To really flex the abdominals. Good. Next one. And hold it. And flex the intercostals here. And hold it. And flex here. And one more. Good. Really crumb it together. One more. Good. Congratulations. 
Good luck.